Good evening, Chris. The Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons announced today it hopes to have their inspectors on the ground working in Syria this Saturday. That could interfere with the timing of a possible military strike if the U.S. decides to wait for them to arrive, presuming the Syrian regime allows them in. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis went further than before as to whether a chemical weapons attack had occurred over the weekend in Syria. I believe there was a chemical attack and we're looking for the actual evidence. The, uh, the OPCW, this is the Organization for the uh, Chemical uh, Weapons Convention. We're trying to get those inspectors in probably uh, within the week. The ranking Democrat on the House Armed Services Committee told Mattis he has reservations if a U.S. military strike simply involves Tomahawk missiles like the 59 fired a year ago when Syrian President Bashar Assad last used chemical weapons. Until we have a more long-term strategy, until we have some idea where we're going in Syria and the Middle East, it seems unwise to me to start launching missiles. The USS Donald Cook is off the coast of Syria with about 75 Tomahawk missiles on board and more than a dozen surface-to-air missiles. The French have deployed a frigate to the eastern Mediterranean, armed with 16 cruise missiles and another 16 surface-to-air missiles to protect against any hostile warplanes or incoming missiles. The British Prime Minister has ordered British submarines to move into position as well to help. The USS Harry S. Truman departed Norfolk, Virginia yesterday, accompanied by seven U.S. warships and should be in the eastern Mediterranean within a week. 6,500 of uh, the finest Americans you could ever sail with or serve with. Uh, we're trained. We're ready. Any mission, anytime, anywhere, we're ready to go. There is a risk that Allied cruise missiles could hit Russian or Iranian forces across Syria. We are not going to engage in the civil war itself. We're trying to stop the murder of innocent people. But on a strategic level, it's how do we keep this from escalating out of control. Fox News has also learned there are U.S. warships in the Red Sea in striking range of Syria as well. A Tomahawk missile strike alone may not be enough. A year ago, it had no impact on President Bashar Assad's thinking or his use of chemical weapons.